Hey Jeremy, I'm not sure if I asked, uh, answered your question through text about this other video uh, regarding what the indication of lack of hip drive. Um, I'm going to slow it down to say half speed here. I might just, I'm, I'm just fast forwarding it. Um, so he goes down, I mean, really solid, like, like we were saying, really solid. Ideally, his knee would stop right there and then his knees would go out and his hips would drop. You'll see that knee slide forward at all. Of course, we know that when the knee slides forward, it starts to slack in the hamstrings, and if the hamstrings aren't involved in the stretch reflex, and the, the, um, uh, the hip drive isn't quite as powerful. You know, from this angle, shit, it looks like he's going almost a little too deep. But um, anyway, so it looks, if you look at his vertical torso, although the, although the um, bar is over midfoot, if his hips were shifted back a bit, um, notice how it's, it's, he's almost in a high bar front squat position here. And to my eye, there's not a lot, uh, a huge amount of glute engagement. I'd love to see CJ's, um, uh, CJ's take on that. So I'm just going to, I'm going to let it play normal speed until you give him the cue to stand up straight. And you'll, you'll see what I thought was a big difference. You see him sort of sliding forward a little bit on his way up. Sliding forward, what I found in my experience, just negates the shit out of, out of hip drive. I think this is where you give him the cue, stand up straight. Stand all the way up. Okay. There. Boom. Now he's nice and strong. Let's bring it back to half speed. And so now he's pop, 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 pop. Looks like he's sitting back real strong here. Now, is there, now notice his knees aren't going quite as forward as they, a little forward there, but his hips drive up a lot higher um, and uses the knee. Notice his knee is locked in place and his hips start to drive up in that trajectory. Let's see if I can math that out in a... Uh, Way to seem just super incredibly smart. Um, so his hip tends to follow sort of that line. Let's see if that worked at all. Let's see. Yeah. So if you if his sacrum follows the curvature of the yellow uh, the yellow circle, if you remember from our balance uh, linkage model software. Um, you'll notice that uh, that uh, the the sacrum does have that sort of curve coming up. Um, I don't know a fancier word to say it, but it's coming up, 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 and then there is when knee starts come, or ideally right there is when knee and hip starts locking out together. Uh, yeah, it really looked like to me. Uh, he used his glutes more in this one rep and I'll play it in full speed um, more than anything else. Excuse me, more than any other rep, he used hip drive more in that rep is what I'm trying to say. So to answer your question, um, that's what indicates to me that um, he didn't use uh, as much hip drive as, as I would like. So I'm going to bring it back to just regular speed on this uh, cued rep to stand up straight. As far as your overall question, how do I know or what indicators are there that he's not um, using as much hip drive as possible? You know, man, it's shit. I don't know. Um, uh, him sliding forward, his knees going forward, um, just sort of putting the pieces together in my head. And I may be completely wrong. Uh, let's let's send this stuff to CJ and see what he has to say. So anyway, I'm going to play out this this rep here where I think he uses the most hip drive, and uh, we'll uh, we'll run it by the boss.